Right, this is from Fresh Africa Life. I'm Obidaya Johnson. We are coming to you from in the commercial area of Douala on the Bourgeois Island in Electoral District number 16, Montreal County, uh, where a uh, riot between police support unit officers of the Liberia National Police and disadvantaged youths, commonly known as Zogos, led to the reported death of at least three persons. Right on this uh, cartoon you are seeing lies a body of an unidentified man. Uh, officers of the police support unit uh, were reportedly uh, backing uh, officers of the Liberia Drug Enforcement Agency to effectuate an arrest and to also demolish a, a major ghetto within the Douala area when the incident happened. Uh, the commercial area of Kuwait uh, adjacent uh, the Douala area, there is a hot spot of uh, the intake of dangerous substances by schools of young people who are normally referred to as Zogos in Liberia. Uh, the LDA officers were reportedly trying to effectuate an arrest and to break down some uh, hot spots they considered as criminal headouts and uh, breeding places for the intake or trading of narcotics and other dangerous substances but uh, the, the reported plan was being allegedly prevented by hundreds of less fortunate youths who normally see those spots as the regular places uh, to either sleep or either visit on a regular basis. But however, uh, the incident led to the deaths of at least three persons. Right under this cartoon, Lars Obale, and we are seeing how best we can move forward to show you additional bodies that have been covered right here in the Douala area. This place was like a ghost camp, but uh, traffic is gradually moving in the area. Uh, where you see the flame, where you see the flame right before you is where one of the uh, dangerous uh, ghettos uh, was. Where you see the flame coming, it was reported as set a place by uh, officers of the Liberia Drug Enforcement Agency as sound on the Brochure Island outside Monrovia. The incident also led to the disruption of normal business, working and academic activities here yeah, on the Brochure Island. Parents were seen in a hurry, a rush to pick up their children from schools within the vicinity of the commercial area of Douala. While owners of various stores, businesses, and others were compelled to shut down their premises for fear of uh, being looted by some of these disadvantaged youths. However, as we speak, uh, this majority of the stores here uh, remain shut down. I just show you uh, one of the cups we are now moving forward uh, to show you uh, another cups that is lying on a, a cartoon. LMP officers are preventing uh, anyone from taking a clearer 
glance of the the various capsules since the fact that uh, they have already they have already uh, placed those capsules and uh, uh, cartoons to have the identities of those that have been reportedly killed. Alright, right before here last another body. Right before us here last another body. Okay, I told you I said that no say that's been go back. covered. And then you are Louis, with you have the problem you the road. He has been called for a cartoon and okay. before us here like, is an officer of the Liberian National Police ensuring that no one get a photograph of this body. So this is it, a body right before their own eyes. Now for academic activities, academic activities were actually cut off as a result of the incident. You see students are drinking uh, to their respective destinations following the incident. So we are still moving forward. There are reports that uh, there is another body lying just before reaching the Monrovia Breweries Incorporated here yeah, on the Bourgeois Island. So, we are moving towards the beer factory area and we, uh, we hope to speak with uh, some authorities of the Liberia National Police. I'm working. The same way working, I'm working. I can't come to you. You want money, car? I'm sure you have the car. Yeah, uh, from Africa. Yeah. Right here. And it was around the beer factory area. Over there is the flame, the flame of one of the one of the hot spots for the disadvantaged youths of the disadvantaged youths. Uh, one of the hot spots of the disadvantaged youths uh, that was reportedly set ablaze. That was reported they said a blaze. Uh, that area has been one of the headouts for the disadvantaged youth or Zogos. They normally go there to take in dangerous substances. And that area was actually set ablaze by officers of the Liberia Drug Enforcement Agency, backed by EPS officers, sorry, backed by some officers of the Liberia National Police. This is Front Page Africa Live. We are coming to you from Douala on the Bourgeois Island outside Monrovia. So now as we speak, uh, the traffic is gradually moving the, the, and uh, the area 
is returning to normalcy. They is returning to normalcy, but as we speak, uh, stores and other business centers here in the Douala area remain closed. Uh, if we do, uh, the less fortunate guys we normally refer to as Zogos, they are no longer seeing around, but uh, business owners. are reneging to open their respective businesses for fear that uh, their goods and others may likely be looted by unscrupulous persons. Want to see how best we can talk to some our witnesses? Uh, so, just tell us, what's your name? What's your name? Uh, what did you observe here uh, during the late morning hours of today? Go ahead. For now, as you can see, the whole area is looking other than because don't want to say that we're going to travel, don't want to say that we're going to travel, don't want to say that what, what 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 did you see when when, when you were only seeing? I saw I saw How many bodies did you see? Three. How many bodies? Three dead bodies. Three. Did you manage to know what I was? Three dead bodies. So were they all males? Uh, there was a female there. Female. Huh? Male, male. Yeah. Other than when, when we were all just three, three, three females. Three males. Three males. Mm -hmm. yeah, did, 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 did. Where did you observe blood coming from the body? Yeah. On the side, on the head? Or? I don't know. I'm not lying on a body of blood. Mm -hmm. My body, motor was the motor side of it. What's about the other body? Yeah. What's about the other body? So thank you. What's your name? Maurice Bogan. Hmm? Maurice Bogan. Brian? Baka, Baka. Maurice Baka. Thank you. Your name too? Thank you. We are still here in Douala, uh, where three persons have been reported dead following the firing of love borders
Police support unit officers of the Liberia National Police, as well as some officers of the Liberia Drug Enforcement Agency, who hope to speak to authorities of the LMPA just before we can vacate the Douala area. As a matter of fact, the incident led to the death of at least three persons. So uh, we are still here in Douala. Uh, tell us the name. What's the name? My name is Ambrose Wizard. Ambrose Wizard is a local money exchanger. Uh, he, he he changes uh, uh, local and, and foreign currencies right before the the famous uh, Morovia Breweries Incorporated. He was one of those on the scene when the incident took place. So Am Ambrose is going to tell us exactly what happened. Ambrose, tell us exactly what happened during the late morning hours of today. Yeah, but what really happened is that uh, during the time in which we were changing or during our normal transaction, mm -hmm. called the intelligent information and last night there was a suspected, suspected armed robbery and those that in the act they came to a camp area right back to the mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. So the government got the intelligence, so they sent an anti robbery group to come to investigate or see how they get the armed So we saw them and during the next thing we could see was this are see no fire, no fire is started going on. Because the intelligence is that those that went in there, those that did the arm robbery, they were having arms. So the police have no regard, they decided to retreat. So in that exchange, you know, our business, there were just two reported there. Two, two persons. Okay, we're also getting reports that there are three persons, but however, we're trying to verify this. But uh, who were doing the Firing. The firing was done by government. The PSU. Yeah, yeah. Are they firing? Uh, are they firing? Uh, they didn't notice another group of firing the police, or they were throwing the objects, or doing. The firing was done by the police. Near the police. Yes. Well, who were they shooting directly at? No, they were just firing the edge of the spray the crowd. And when that when, and when that happened? It just happened just about eleven thirty in the morning here. So how many bodies did you see? Two bodies. Two bodies. After the death of these two persons you are talking about, what happened next? The night is that we saw more recruitment from the police. A rival from Central, the deputy of the security to destroy the crowd. At the they didn't notice a uh, uh, less fortunate uh, Liberian youth with no money called Zogos. Yes, they didn't so notice we, them uh, uh, throwing stones or yes, having exactly, objects. Exactly, that's what gave rise to the uprising. Uh -huh. Were they throwing stones or having harmful, harmful no, throwing objects? Stone, throwing stones, rag, or harmful substance in the air against the police. What do you have to say about the, the looting of goods? Oh, yeah, the issue of looting of goods, but even one of my best friends, he and myself, nobody go to transaction, he was better man in the process. Most of the film he stole was taken away. I mean, he was just better man. So, is this the first of a kind? Uh, this kind of situation is happening adjacent your business area? Uh, no, for, for, for me, that is the first time is, I'm seeing it happening in my person. Hmm. So, what's the name again? My name is Ambrose Wilson. Thank you. I'm Bruce Wieser, one of the uh, witnesses uh, speaking to uh, from British Africa. We are still here. Uh, see how best we can speak with authorities of the Liberia National Police on the scene. Yeah, but to speak now, uh, first uh, the the driver was like a uh, ghost camp. But camp is gradually returning to the area following the latest incident. I stay here. And we see 
An ambulance from the JFK has arrived on the scene. An ambulance from the JFK has arrived on the scene. And the the corpses are being taken one after the other. The corpses are being taken one after the other. And the police is now calling for the entire ambulance to be barricaded. Uh, so the bodies of the victims can be placed into the ambulance. This ambulance is from the Jungle Health Kennedy Medical Center. The health workers are trying to see how best they can create space within the ambulance uh, to place uh, the corpses into the ambulance. Talk to one now uh, to to give us the LMP side of this incident. This is one of the victims. Uh, it was reported that this victim died instantly as a result of a laugh bullet allegedly fired. by one of the officers. one of the victims who met his untimely demise as a result of the incident here today uh, in the Dwala area on the crucial island outside Monrovia.
it remains unclear whether or not uh, this other victim was a disadvantaged youth. Whether or not he was a disadvantaged youth or, or less fortunate. Or less fortunate. Or less fortunate. And. A cops has been placed into the ambulance. Yeah, last another curbs. Yeah, last another curbs. The second curves, the second curves. That's the second curves. Uh, being taken away here from Douala following a shooting incident here in District 16 Montreal County. Fresh blood oozing from the back of this victim. Fresh blood oozing from the back of the victim. Uh, he has finally been placed into the ambulance. Two corpses are now in the ambulance. And the ambulance now moves to another area to pick up another cop shortly. Another cop shortly. Another 
person has been arrested. And of course, disadvantaged youths, uh, commonly known as Zoko in Liberia, are being apprehended one after the other as corpses of the victims are being placed into the ambulance one after the other so this is the dead cops right here this is the dead cops right here There's the terror cars right here. This is the terror cars. Right here. This is the tail body being placed into the ambulance. Being placed into the ambulance. <laughs> I said three brothers. Uh, let's see whether we can talk to one or not. Uh, one or not, welcome. Welcome to Front Page Africa. One or not? Welcome to Front Page. We, we have to talk. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> We have to talk to one now, but uh, that just seems uh, not to be ready yet to speak to the press. We hope that we can get words for him uh, shortly after this entire exercise. One now, welcome, welcome to front page. Okay, sir. We are still here. We'll be going to speak to one now. Uh, three corpses or bodies have been removed from the various incident spots here in the Douala area on the Bourgeois Island of South Morovia following a major crackdown on less fortunate or uh, disadvantaged youths come at the new Azokos here on the Bourgeois Island outside Monrovia. 
witnesses claim that uh, the victims were actually shot, but we are hoping to hear from authorities of the Liberia National Police to also give their own side of the story. But as it stands, uh, the accounts given by the eyewitnesses are all allegations. Uh, some eyewitnesses said two, three, and four bodies respectively, but we were able to independently count about three bodies uh, that were removed from various positions here in Douala. And the officers are now trying to to vacate vacate the area. They are now trying to vacate the area. Uh, they are getting uh, in the vehicle just to vacate the area shortly after the operations here in the Dwala community of Samarovia. Several persons have been arrested uh, by officers of the Liberia National Police. They are right here. Stores and other business centers remain shut down. Uh, this, this because is the assigned vehicle of the Liberia Drug Enforcement of Agency. Uh, these are some of these are some of those they have arrested. Uh, we have one on now. Welcome to the four. Welcome to the four base Africa chief. <laughs> chief. Tell us, tell us the MSF. Okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Mr. Robert T.I.A., former Mosarado County District 16.
Representative Kennedy, Mr. Robert here. Welcome. How are you, Mr. There's a sad news here this year. Today, three persons have been reported dead following a shooting incident. Well, we are calling the national, the national government, especially the, the Minister of State and National Police, to launch a full scale investigation to the matter to get to, to, to the death of our two our citizens. Or this, this we can't have three bodies. Yes. So we are calling on the, on the national government, especially the, the Minister of Justice and Police, to launch an, uh, an uh, investigation to the death of our, to our, to our three of our citizens. It's a very important point. Lots of lives. Today, we get a war in Duala, in Barakuta. And so today, we are calling the government to launch an investigation to the matter to see what happened and what led to the death of our, our three of our citizens. The guns are silent. This implies that we are not for, that we are no longer fighting war in Liberia. But do you think Liberia is still secure? The Liberian is safe. The Liberian is safe. That's why we are not we are looking at the events are not coming. But the type of situation happening today, children, children are in school today. There were fear. People could have stolen business. Is it the loss? People lost their lives and all business are closed down. And so that's fine. We didn't see that you expect investors to come to the country. I said no. The Liberian is safe. So, what was the first hand information you gather that triggered this incident? Well, uh, for what me, did I, your constituents I, I, say to you? Yeah, I, I got information from the children in school because I, I'm a teacher. And we got information that they were coming in Adwala. And today, I could not come because the, the situation was very tense. People were running here and there. People were asking us. So, I cannot expect them to come. I'm not, I'm, I'm not putting me at all. So, I'm going to come and see what was happening. It is now that we have everybody now. We are to the ballot, to the ballots, and we are coming to see what's happening. Mr. Tia, people see uh, your district as uh, one that is a hot spot for the trading of narcotics and other dangerous substances. Too many ghettos, the proliferation of ghettos and others. What do you have to say to this? The thing is, these drugs that are coming to the country, why they pass? They pass to the border, they pass to the airport, and are still in charge. Who in charge? The government. Because these people are coming to the country, they don't be made here from other countries. They part to the borders. So who in charge? And the government. And the government. So what government is responsible? So what do you have to say for now just before we leave? We are here? saying we are calling on the Ministry of Justice and the Liberal National Police to launch an investigation and let the death of our teacher citizens. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. Mr. Robert Tia is a former representative candidate in electoral district number 16, most of our county. Just so that we are still here, uh, the, the, the three corpses or bodies of the victims have been taken away and the the officers are scaling down their operations. The officers are scaling down their operations. Where you see the flame is coming from is one of the the 
breeding places for the seed of narcotics and other dangerous substances here in the commercial area of Douala on the bourgeois island of Samaravia and definitely that entire area has been set ablaze So we'll stay here waiting uh, for one or two to speak uh, to the media on uh, the latest operations carried out by police support unit officers of the Liberian National Police which led to the death of at least three persons. There are reports that others, additional three persons sustained uh, injuries as a result of the Love Brothers that were allegedly fired. One and all, welcome to front page. One and all, welcome to front page. Come on, go check the suspect. How many suspects are there? I don't know. Come on, go. We saw you uh, uh, putting three laughless bullets in the ambulance. What happened? Man, get back. We'll talk to you. <laughs> uh, authorities of the Liberian National Police are tight lipped. Uh, they are expressing a willingness uh, to actually speak to the media on what actually transpired. So, this is from Page Africa. We are still here in Douala. We are receiving reports that. Uh, the disadvantaged youth of Zogos are threatening to retaliate or to prevent what actually transpired. We saw two persons, two bodies, uh, uh, like a resemblance of less fortunate youths, while another uh, did not appear to be a less fortunate youth. So this I would like to come to the end of this live coverage here in the Douala area on the bourgeois island of Samborovia, where a joint operation by police support unit officers of the Liberia National Police and the Liberia Drug Enforcement Agency, LDEA, the agency of the Liberian government that has the sole responsibility to combat against the illegal sale and intake of dangerous substances here in Liberia launched a crackdown on some major hotspots for the trading of narcotic substances in Liberia and the operation the crackdown led to the death of at least three persons you saw the corpses or bodies were being placed on board Two ambulances that came from the John F. Kennedy Medical Center. My name is Obidaya Johnson, saying thanks to you for watching and following this live coverage.